Hello, welcome. It's hard lore time. How are you, Bo? We're in England. <laughs> we kind we of. are. That's crazy. <laughs> Exciting few weeks in hard lore world. We just announced our first ever live hard lore episode. Mm-hmm. Brain dead. That's it's Lost July twenty fourth, Monday, seven p.m. Special guest. Tell them about the man of the hour, Bo. The MVP. Straight Statewide up. MVP. Country Nation. worldwide. Nation. Really. Worldwide MVP. Martine Stewart. That's right. Martine will be joining us. Martine, of course, of Terror, God's Hate, Donnie Brook. King Nine. I if I cannot start finish the list of names because this will be a two hour <laughs> episode. Uh, he also, you know, is responsible for bringing Sound and Fury back from the dead. So that'll be exciting. We're going to preview the lineup, talk about what goes into booking a fest, and Ugh. there's, uh, it could be sold out by now. So, yeah, it's doing well. It's if if it is, sorry. If not, get a ticket. Don't get for please buy a ticket. Yeah, or I'm gonna. But <laughs> you can't say it. We're we're not even a minute into the episode. I'll believe. I'll do it. Something. <laughs> All right. Cool. I'll do something about it. More, um, more importantly, today, yeah. As as the the listeners know, the only thing we like as much as you know spreading the lore's work mm. on on of, and and talking the core mm. hardcore music. The only thing we like as much as hardcore music is fast food. <sighs> Maybe more. <laughs> Maybe more. But only because it's the thing that unites all yeah. of us. This is an idea we've had in the tank for a minute that we're doing because we are literally in another country right now. Yeah. And I think that that's fun. And I think that it's it's like it's Colin is as swamped as ever yeah. doing his, his so much this week. No, but it's being, fine. This is more important. So um, we're going to be so, I, this is also a test of what am I having for lunch today? So whatever. Dude. Yeah, so you it, haven't eaten, no. right? Uh, so me I'm either, so I'm, yeah. I'm f-ing ready for this. Okay. So here is our list. Let's see it. Um, let me go to little bow. Do here the he thing. Woo. Ah. I love him. All right. So here's what we got. Um, for those of you listening, I'm going to go down the line. It's alphabetical. Yeah. I guess that's the way we go because otherwise yeah, we're just going to let's go alphabetical and maybe let's, yeah. let's not list them all now so that we can, you know, have some reveals Oh, later you're right. Yeah. Where people go, think oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let, let's go. Okay. For, I want two things. Okay. We need to go over the criteria. Okay. Of these tiers. And then we need to go over if these tiers are like right for us. Okay. Because I think a never had tier is very important. Agreed. Just pe- just passing. Here, here's how I'm approaching this, Bo. Mm-hmm. I ha- I really have one personal criteria for this. Let's say it's like. Wow. First time at In and Out since eating meat. We've got a special cameo by Madison Watkins of Maddie! Year of the Knife. Eating in and out for the first time since eating meat. We've got munch the it. rest of your the knife here. Tell her to munch it. Let's, it. let's get a bite live on the show. We're recording right now. That looks good. Here she goes. Let's see it. Protein. Protein style. Very good. Of course. Very good. Yep. That's part of the fun. There it is. Oh, Big yeah. bite. Look at that face. She That's likes what we it. want. There we go. She yes. likes it. Year of the knife powered by in and out. <laughs> okay, thank nice. thanks for stopping by. We've just started <laughs> recording, so this will be fun. <laughs> hey, that fits into the show it perfectly. It does. We're doing the fa- Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now put that fucking thing on do not disturb and let's talk. I did. I did. What is your one criteria? My one criteria here is how I would feel seeing one of these things as the option on like day 17 of a 35 day tour, you know? So my, when we, when we're going for the best, this is where it gets tricky mm-hmm. and you're kind of an enigma. And I've always wanted to ask you about this. You live in the land of arguably the best burger that's widely available and open yeah. until one yeah, yeah. or two. And yet you still frequent McDonald's. Yeah. So how, how do you, I guess we'll get there, but I just, I don't know how you determine what you want. 
<laughs> when I'll, there's such an obvious... I will explain it. I, f- I think okay. that's a very visceral feeling that you feel. Okay. You know, that's okay. there's there. It is explainable. So we'll get okay. there when we get there. Should we start with this? With what's first on there? Yeah. I do have feelings about... Okay, so the first one on the list is A&W, okay. All American Food. That's part of the title. Which, like, it's thoughts? way more popular in Canada, which is funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah All yeah. North American food. Um, I love the root beer. I love the cold mug. Yeah, like the, the A&W root beer in a can at a store. Maybe, maybe the one I'd gravitate towards. Yeah. A&W, agreed. the fast food chain. Dude, they got crinkle cut fries and decent burgers. Bo. I'm not saying it's Bo. the best. I know. I'm I know. Just but saying at, it's, for me, it's not this the is worst. For me, this is the thing. We have to like agree on these. Okay. So if we're driving down the, you're right. Harm's way if, ain't if, stopping for A&W. If somebody says all that there is is A&W, everyone's going to go, all right. Really? You know what I mean? I, I, no one's going to be psyched, but it's not Subway. I'm not going to not I, eat. I, would, I, 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 I don't eat. think God's hate stopping. As hungry as we are. So to me, that's it's it, that's really? it, like hard F for me. Really? A&W, 100%. At, 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 at age 30, you know? Yeah, but, but you'd you're thinking have of to age, sell me, brother. But you're thinking age 30 of a man living in Van Nuys, not as a man living in a van for 17 as days. As a man living on a van for, for seven, 17 days deep, <laughs> I'll want it less. What? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Because the to me the the benefit of it of ha- if I had that at home, I get a root beer float or something. Okay. If I get a but root beer can. float, yeah. I got a show to play later. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be I, root beer floating some turds in my in ass as I'm trying to I, sit in rooms. Here's my thing, man. F tier should be I'm never eating there. You're never eating A and W. I don't want to, but is it Subway? No. So So that's so so I think it's it's D. D. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. We can agree on that. And what I like to do with these tiers is like they go from left to right, left being like the best of that tier. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So A and W can move down in D's. That's yeah, no, no, for sure, for sure, for sure. It's just it's just not a like I'm never eating. Okay. I, I also I think they have like a cheese curd. Yeah. That's pretty good. And in Canada they have poutine too. I haven't which had I that. Know I've, that's only, regional, I've only but. had the Wendy's poutine, which was dynamite. <laughs> it's pretty fucking good. So, if they put that chili on there, let me tell you. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. controversial one coming up next. Yeah. Arby's. What do you? I don't know. Pharrell's big old hat in the flesh, dude. Yeah, dude. We went out to dinner. Oh, what'd you have? I uh, went to a re- Arby's. <laughs> it's. I mean, it's tragic that like Arby's is. <laughs> Using like real ingredients a lot of the time. Like, but do you remember the rumor about the beef? Yeah, but dude, a Simpsons episode ruined Arby's reputation forever. I'm so hungry I could eat at Arby's. Oh, oh my wow. god, you really hungry. Really hungry. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. little bit in the Simpsons episode is the reason people ain't eating Arby's. I'm today. so hungry I could eat at Arby's. Gas. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the, but, but the reality is the beef and ched is a pretty yummy thing. And the curly fries are, are undeniable. Are insane. Maybe they're the best unden- in the game. They're undeniable. It, if I had to throw it on there, I'd put it in C. C is fair. I'm going there before I go to A&W. 100,000%. No. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Love All it. right. This one is funny because the only Baja Fresh that I think I've ever been to uh-huh. is in O'Hare. So for me, it's like... They're mostly gone. Yeah. I literally think I've only seen them in airports. There was a ton here. Really? So there's an interesting story about Baja Fresh. Um, it was I think it was a husband and wife, mm. and the wife left and created Veggie Grill. I thought that was Veggie Grill and Native Foods. It might be, but but it might sure be it Baja is. Fresh too. Oh, because there's a Native Foods that opened. What in am my I lying about today? Long time. I just ago. be yeah. lying on the show. All just the time. be Hang just on. crapping out lies, dude. Let's see, Baja Fresh Veggie Grill. <laughs> what am I lying right about? Down. What happened to Baja Fresh? 
Mm. Wendy's bought Baja Fresh in 2002 for $275 million. Oh, my God. Now look up uh, now look up veggie grill. No, that one is for sure true. Native foods, yeah, okay. I'm just lying about so. something. He'd just be lying sometimes. Baja Fresh Wiki. <laughs> Newberry Park, California. Okay. Wendy's International bought it. Just not even close to being true. <laughs> what I said. <laughs> Just not even close. Uh, so where does it? You know what's so funny is I'm almost I've I haven't been there in a long time. Uh huh. And but since it's mostly at airports, I'm like positive they have Pepsi. This is just like a nothing. It's like a nothing for me. It's less than A and W. It's not quite. Yeah, subway. no, I agree. I would say it's it's like top of F probably. Yeah. Like just if, like if I'm, it's, I'm it's, not gonna eat there. If it's at a travel center, you know. Yeah. I'm getting chips. Dude, okay, that's a perfect. Yeah. There you go. That's a perfect way. I'm, okay, I'm eating at Lay's that night, you know? <laughs> Lay's. Uh, or I'm eating at Cape Cod. I'm eating at Combo's <laughs> Bar and Grill, dude. <laughs> dude. Dude, do you get heartburn? No. There is no. Oh, yeah, that's right. You like famously never do I don't right? do it. I don't get it. I, I mean, I something happens to me, but I can't describe what it is. <laughs> there is nothing. I can't on the breathe planet. or swallow at night, but you know. <laughs> I wouldn't say my heart is burning. There's nothing on the planet that gives me worse heartburn than combos. Really? It's just like an instant, like, what are you doing? That but red God, little powder in there just so don't agree with you. It's good, though. No. It's so right. good, though. Dude, next is Blimpy, and I don't think I've ever been there. Blimpy is a sub chain. Right. Because is that, hey there, Blimpy boy, is that the <laughs> Simpsons Blimpy? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I think it is because it's like a sandwich thing and he wants to fly the blimp. Dom Vargas, if you're listening, is that the yeah, same? Yeah. Is that the same blimp? Dan Housen, if you're listening, is that the yeah, same Dan blimp? Housen. Um again, I'm not I'm not going there. I haven't had it in probably fifteen years. Okay. I'm fine with putting it in F. I, I it, it's a F slash never had for me. Yeah, I've yeah. I've truly Pop never it in had. F. Yeah, works. It's pro I mean, I feel like it's probably pretty good compared to some things. But it's been so long that it's an F. I'm not going okay. there. I'm not going back. I don't care to give it another shot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, next is Bojangles. Now we're which cooking, I, baby. I need to revisit. Yeah. I think I've only ever been twice, and I wasn't impressed, but I think that's because I, I didn't have a guide. You got to go with lost. me, brother. I got you. Yeah, I got we Because Bojangles yeah. is easily B. Okay. I don't, that's I don't, strong. I don't, I don't, there's better fast food fried chicken. We'll get there. Yeah, but it's an easy B. Okay. Okay. I'm. Easy. I'm. The bag says it's bow time, and like, come on. Yeah, you're in. I'm in. That's that's an I'm instant in. stop for me. Okay, got like, you. Oh, there's a Bojangles pullover. Dude, you want to talk about an instant? Holy shit, they have that. Boston Market, which is next on our you list. You know where like the only one in California is? <laughs> about one block from me. <laughs> I know where one is in Chicago for sure. Dude, B. Boston it's Market. A B. It's a B. Yeah. Good. It's I'm glad so we agree. good. It's so good. It has no reason being that good. No. The mashed potatoes are fucking awesome. They're crazy. That rotisserie the, chicken. Yeah, the chicken. On a <sighs> sandwich is crazy. I have fond memories of Boston Market because when we were young, we would go a lot. There was one connected to a blockbuster. So Dude, it was like. Same. Dude, so you're going, you're getting a game yeah. or you're getting a movie, you're grabbing a fucking whatever dinner gimmick, and you're having the best Friday night. Yeah. And then TGIF is on. Come on. My my dad, to this day, is like a, thinking about stopping in Boston Market on the way home. Oh, mm. Fuck. You know, like that, that, but we were a Boston Market household. If James is listening, he will be very pleased. We're, He's a big Boston Market This is a Boston okay, Market so, show. Yeah. yeah. So are we before or after Bojangles? Now is where before. we need to start. To no, pay. I, I, like it's, it's top of B now. Boston so Market. if they're across from each other, you're going I'm Boston going to Boston Market. Market. Yeah. I fully agree. I love it. Yeah. Dude, <sighs> this is going to be a tough one. This is tough. Because it's like, <sighs> this. it's Burger King to the audio listeners. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. No, Fuck. It's, it's so ingrained in my yes. whole life throughout the history yes. of my life, you know? Yes. But nowhere has failed me more than Burger King. You know? Yes. It can be the least consistent. No place has crossed us 
more <laughs> than Burger King. Especially considering Europe. Oh, it's so good there. Which makes it, which like knock the bumps it up a tier because it, it's in, in Europe. Yeah. It's like, yes. Yeah. 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 Not here, but there, not, there's got to be some kind of leeway there. The thing with Burger King for me, too, is every couple of years they bring back this stupid Italian sandwich that I love. Mm-hmm. It's the chicken, the long chicken All right. with provolone and marinara, and that's it. I don't have to edit anything on it. It's on the menu. I just say a number whatever, and I get my meal, and they have Coke products. So also, like, I like legendary fry. Great fry. Chicken fries. And like a Whopper? Come on. I love a Whopper. Come on. But again, like... In if I'm in Missouri, mm-hmm. Omaha, mm-hmm. Denton, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will not go to Burger King. I'm with you. I'd go to Whataburger. Which yeah, absolutely. Know? Which which to and me has to count for something. No, it does. So I think in the terms of our list, I think it's top of C right now. I'd go there over our. Oh fuck! What I go that's there the thing, Arby's? man. I'd go there over a and W for sure. Like you remember what Aaron Hurd said about people that work at Wendy's in Pennsylvania no. where they're like, they're, they're working there to like clean their life up. You know, they're getting their shit together. Yeah. Whereas like the McDonald's employees, like what the fuck do you want? <laughs> I, I feel think think about an Arby's employee versus a Burger King employee. Okay. I I've only had positive people who, when you get Arby's, they're like, thank you so much for coming here. You know, I don't know if we can count that. <laughs> I don't know if that's Burger um, King is it's, it's, I feel every sandwich now is made in malice, but they are closing at an incredible rate, which, which is, is a bummer. I don't want that to happen. No, I I'm going to put it in C and put where it, it ends up is where it ends up. And we'll reassess at the end. You yes, know? we will. Okay. Now, here we go. The first S tier. Get S-tier. on your knees, bro. Raising <sighs> canes. Okay. Let me propose something to you. Okay. About, just about the tier in general. When I had done these with the streams, just for fun to make things difficult, I like to limit the amount of things that can be S tier. Mount Rushmore is four. Big four is four. Oh, I man. like I like that. It makes things, you have to be, That's it's tough. too easy to put all your favorites in S tier. But the best is the best. You know, but there are still if they're across the street from each other, mm. you would still you might still rather one over the well, other. Let's have to re- maybe we we'll do five S tiers. I'm I'm okay with five. And we have I to reassess like, at the end. We'll put okay. them there for now, yeah. but then we'll. I just like a number. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you straight up. I think Keynes is D. 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 I uh, dude. If you I don't wish like I had the a G U N. If you, you don't down. like the sauce, it's got nothing for me. The bread is good. The fries are good. Listen, but I, I'm not down with that sauce. Dude, so just Bo, they, you need to hide and run. They're coming now. I know they're going to come for me, but but it's not. Your life I'm is not in saying peril. that it's bad, guys. I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm just saying that I know that you need the 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 crux of their food is this thing that I don't. You're like. going to Arby's over Canes. No. Yeah. <laughs> so you're a no, hypocrite. I'm not. You're right. I can reevaluate. I would go. I know you go to Boston Market over it, but I like, go to Bo- Boston Market and Bojangles over Canes for sure. But I will put it in the top <laughs> for you because I know you feel strongly. But about just this. think about think about this then. Think about from the eyes of the rest of your band, the meat eaters. Yeah, they see a Canes. What are they doing? It. But we all think it's like okay. I don't believe it for a second. I swear to God, I will Facetime you. Ain't right you ain't been out there in a while. It's true. But Things have changed. We, we all. Me and Casey had it together for the first time somewhere in Arizona on Warp Tour. And we were like, yeah, it's okay. Is he not a like sauceman it, either? He definitely is a sauce. He's a saucy boy. That's an incredible sauce. Here's the thing that you like. Canes is never going to scorn you. I will say that the chicken quality is always is very cra- good. Is, is better than anything on here so far. It's just crazy to me that they don't have barbecue. They got a thing. I know, but what if you don't like the thing? They, but it's not you do not like alone. the thing. I know you're I'm just not alone. You're there's personal. dozens of me. There's dozens of you for sure. I'll throw it up there if you want it. It's fine because the next two were shitting all oh, over. Oh, one hundred percent, dude. <laughs> I, I will Carl's give Carl's Junior. I'll, I'll give Carl. Carl's Junior is next. Yes. 
They changed the game for the vegans. That's true, isn't it? The Carl, the Carl Beyond was revolutionary. Yeah. To the point where I was getting it kind of all the time. Were you? For fun, yeah. Oh, oh, like, because, eh. oh I, I got you. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, it's vegan. I can, it's healthy, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> healthy burgers, finally. Um, <laughs> but, like, I'm not going there. Dude, and, like, there are drives in the middle of the country where that's all there is, is a Carl's Jr. or a Hardee's. And it's dark. And, like, that's straight up it. It's also, like, outrageously expensive. It's very expensive. It's crazy. Yeah. And it's been expensive. Yeah, right. They they basically... The breakfast is kind of good. They got tots. I don't judge good- on breakfast at all okay. because okay. it's just Fair not... Enough. It's not something that interests me, you know? And McDonald's smashes them all in. Anyway. It, it, and it's like, I'm not even a big McDonald's breakfast guy. Yeah. And I... Uh, 100%. Yeah. And yeah, almost... Okay. Alo- <laughs> we're not there yet. <laughs> we'll yeah, there. we're not there. <laughs> um, so where Carl's, do you want to put Carl's? Dude. Cause like I don't I'm sorry I'm I've never been vegan that's never been yeah, a thing yeah. for me. Great shakes, hand spun milkshakes, good milk. I, and dude, we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting yeah. to. We're almost in shake world big time. Oh my god. Um, but and again that though the the one you're referring to coming right up, much mm-hmm. better shake. Mm-hmm. I I don't I think the value sucks at Carl's Jr. Yes. The. This is fun. I'm having a blast. It is. By the way. I know it's great. I'm so d- what? Let me ask you: What would you rather eat, A and W or Carl's Jr.? Carl's Jr. Because you're going to go to Burger King before Carl's. Carl's Jr. Yeah, yeah, I am. So we know it's in D. Top of D. Top of D. Top. Of, I think that's fair. At, but it's yeah. I don't know the prices very well at A and W. But so I don't I'll, care. I'll, I don't care. Yeah, I yeah, paid twenty dollars yeah. for a Carl's Jr. meal versus five for like ten things at A and W. Yeah. Okay. The next one is checkers, which is a fucking like almost like a um what's the the burger place? Uh steak and shake. It's almost like a steak and shake kind of diner. I would say top of F for checkers and rallies if I, it's on here. I think that's really fair. Yeah. It's garbage yeah. food. It's go- it's awful. All they Whereas, have is a fry. Now, Colin, my boy. Oh. Easy. I mean, I loved and the instant mutual shit on checkers. Nobody's. Yeah, that's just not even just worth it. Just get my time. over it. Nobody's eating I'll starve. checkers. Come on. It's fine. All right. Um, Chick fil A, we're, we're speaking only. I would, dude, it would actually be really interesting to go through this list and see where they're donating and like yeah. what every, you know, blah, blah, blah. So because of that, we are only talking about the food quality. Obviously, and fuck like, everything they stand for. You know? Unequivocally. Yeah. We're not down with that. We're not talking about that. We're talking about the food. Yeah, yeah. Chick-fil-A is, when it comes to quality, unbelievable. Yeah. It I mean, is it is my first immediate S tier. It's top of the best, for sure. Top of the best. Okay. Um but, That's but, where but, you know, we'll we're not just gonna do that and, and carry on. Let's 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 go into <laughs> detail a little bit. Yeah. Especially on tour. Dude, on tour, it, and, and I, I know you just said you're not into breakfast, but the breakfast is actually the Love best Love the breakfast. Dude, the br- holy. Dude, dude, the Chick-fil-A biscuit with some ranch on there? Oh, Good well, God. I, I just like honey. I like a little honey. Yeah, like I, get chicken it. I get it. And a biscuit. Oh. I dump that. Coke products, Diet Dr. Pepper on tap. Diet Dr. Pepper on tap. Uh, <sighs> I think they still have Coke Zero. A waffle fry incredible shakes apparently invented the waffle fry i've lied before and i could be lying again but that's what i've i remember reading that at some point that's what i'm choosing to believe that's what i'm that's choosing to go with today that's my favorite um, saying um it's just you can eat healthy there too if you want they oh, have cop very. salad they have they have nuggets and like grilled nuggets and also like the worst thing you can get mm-hmm. i still feel pretty good like apples. Oh, oh, you're, oh, I got you. Yeah. yeah no, like, like after eating like, like a, a number one deluxe, deluxe yeah. with pepper yeah. jack covered in four, five, 700 calories of sauce, <laughs> I can still play like the best set after. And also, if we are going to go into the employee like attitudes and whatever. <laughs> Unless you're at an airport, you're not getting better service. Very true. If you're at an airport, but, you're getting a fucking f- your sandwich farted in. Dude, but that is the shared experience yeah. that every normal Chick Fil A. I've never had a bad experience ever. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. 
So it's that's, S. It's that's top just, of S. It, it's just where it's going to go. Now, Colin, I know you have PTSD about I this. do, but I, I have to be objective here, and I accept yes, that. Yes, thank you. Um, Chipotle. Es- Especially es- on tour. Oh, my God. that, that were The early days of touring in the modern <sighs> hardcore world, Chipotle was the goat. It was it. Everyone can eat. For you free. sometimes get it for free. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Coke products. Yeah. St- dude, and you want to know one other thing about Chipotle? Still relatively inexpensive compared to a lot of places. It's cheaper than McDonald's. Is it? Fuck yeah, dude. A a a chicken burrito is ten dollars. Yeah, it's not not the way I get it. <laughs> the way I get it is not. I, I got you, but but if you just order a chicken or a veggie burrito, sure, it's gonna fill you up for a long time. Yeah. And it's ten bucks. It's nine ninety eight. Isn't it funny that something about Chipotle? Everybody gets a water cup and fills it with soda. <laughs> Nobody pays for drinks at Chipotle. Not me. I, I, I do. I do. That's great. You're the first guy. Do you steal the, the Tabasco guy. bottles? I have. Everybody's stealing sure. them Tabasco the bottles. The green one, man. Whew. Um, I used to love to throw a little lemon in my diet. Oh, yeah. Fill yeah. her up. But they got rid of that. Like COVID. <laughs> you can't See, I get careful. like a double steak bowl. Oh, okay. Add guac, you know. Queso now they can do that. Yeah, they got the queso. I Great will say, what guac. keto guys? Yeah, this thing yeah. I can eat Chipotle three days a week. It, it's great. Top of B. Okay, I accept. That's where I would have put it. Okay. I've f- fully accept, dude. Church's chicken is next. It's so good. It's not. It's <laughs> I, I'm. I can tell you this objectively as a fried chicken man. Yeah, it's no Bojangles. Okay, I can accept that because I'm so. Inexperienced with Bojangles. I would not. I I would still. I would maybe probably not go over there. There over Arby's even. You'd go to Arby's over Church. Yeah, you think? I think so. So now think there's a parking lot, the van, whatever. You can't go Churches or Burger King. I might go to Burger King. Okay, but you're going to Churches over Carl's. Yeah, hundred percent. It's okay. it's bottom I've, of C. I think. I think that's fair. I think that's really And true. like this will all make sense later. I think mm-hmm. I have my five S tiers like already in my mind, you know? Good, good. Um, oh cookout. man, cookout. I fucking it's another, it, it, love cookout. <laughs> it's similar to Bojangles for me in, in that I just haven't been that much. Wow. I know. Dude, especially on tour. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's such a rare treat. You know, if if yeah, the band, well, yeah. if, if we tell the band after the set, like, guys, wrap it up early. We're going to cook out after. Everybody's like, yes. Whoa. Any band okay. I've ever been in. Okay. Top of B to me. Top of B. Over, over Chipotle. So over Chipotle. Over Boston Market. Yeah. It's so fun, dude. Because there's so many options. You get to build a tray. And then if that's not enough, you get another tray and then you build another tray and they have like 70 milkshake flavors. Come on. And what the lady Alec and the lady again? taking your order hates you, but it's fun, <laughs> you know. What does Alec get again? Two, two trays, all corn dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get like burgers, fries, onion rings, uh corn dog, hot dog, and he just gets like six corn dogs or something. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. Oh shit! I just spilled something. I'm gonna put. Um, I'll put him at the top of B. Top of B. Because I'm go. I'm 100 percent going to cookout over Chipotle. And let me ask you this: If you're, with I probably me, would too. It, yeah, probably would you too and right me now. together, you'd probably be like, yeah, let's go to cookout. I exactly. So that's why I'm. I'm fine. Now the next one is Culver's. Colin, I know that when we ate there, mm-hmm. you weren't too impressed with the food. That's not true. I didn't. I- but you were impressed with the ice cream with the. The custard. Loved the ice cream. Loved that. Culver's. I'm a champion of Culver's. I, I, I'm i not going to say it's S tier because I think there just are objectively yeah. better things. But Culver's has such a wide variety of shit. It's regional, which I love. Yeah. They just this year, like two months ago, switched from Pepsi. Which to is Coke. crazy because we were on record being like, it's you know, it sucks that they have Pepsi. So let's go. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. they got it. They got cheese curds. They got butter burgers. They got amazing fun, fucking fun menu. Fun menu. I was very impressed with the menu. A lot of stuff. 
So I'm going to I'm going to insist that it's in B. 100%. But I can I can say depending on how I feel over Chipotle. Over Chipotle. I I had a great time. Okay, good. And I'm eating a a, bur- a delicious burger over Chipotle any day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Easy. I think that's very fair. Okay, I love it. Now go to the plate, daddy. <laughs> Take a big old swing. Del Taco. I love Del Taco. I I love Del and Taco Bell separately. Yeah, it's not. You crave Del Taco and you crave Taco Bell. You yes, don't crave two, Mexican food and choose one of these things. Right. They're two different things. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I feel <laughs> is, I feel sacrilege, you know? Oh. Yeah, because you yeah. Wanting to put it. I'm going there over Chipotle, 100%. But Culver's and Cookout are so exciting to me mm. that I would go to those over Dell. But let me put it this How about this? Hit me. Cookout and Culver's more exciting to me than Dell as well. Okay. So, so let's, there you go. that's a perfect spot. Yeah. yeah, I think so. And last I was talking up the burgers, I was like, they got, you know, you'd be surprised. They got really good burgers. And then I got one on the way down from the Dead Body <laughs> shows we just played. And it was like, yeah. Meme hamburger, meme, meme fast food burger, just just smushed like and like somebody was like in, <laughs> in 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 like kitchen nightmares and it was like put this together fucking blindfolded, <laughs> and then they did it and then served it to me. Um, I really like Dell. I think Dell's really good. Also good for vegetarians and vegans. The Pit you know? Recording Studio is also between two Del Tacos. So, <sighs> having grown up there, I ate it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Taylor Young. Yeah. Yo, when the shrimp tacos dropped, seven days a week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up I have mixed feelings about. I don't know if Denny's, Waffle House, Domino's even. I don't know if some of these, can, are they fast food? Waffle House is on there? Waffle House is Denny's on there. Denny's is a fucking, the only time I'm eating there is like midnight. Yeah, yeah. When one server's in there and it takes yeah. three fucking hours. So there ain't nothing uh-huh. fast about it. Yeah. I, what do we do about it? It's on here. It's on. It, you're right. I guess it is a national chain yeah. of accelerated cuisine. So, we, well, you know what? We have Chipotle on here. We call that accelerated cuisine. Yeah, Maybe yeah. we just, we love that. Fine. Okay. Now, Denny's for me is more of a utilitarian thing. It's open. Oh. It's open. And the season fries go. <laughs> they do, but it's like des- It's like I guess I'm I know. here. I'm here because I got outvoted. I guess I'll get a season fry. You know, I I dude, I might do it over Carl's Jr. No, 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 no. Over N W Hundo P, dude. But Hundo P, yeah. But under okay. Carl's for sure. Because I like I could. <laughs> it's complicated because. Yeah, you know. I like it depends Carl's. On how I, there's not a burger that I dislike. I think you we have to look at this all as like the best case scenario too. So like Denny's every, to me, worst case scenario. Right, right, right. But I'm saying it's like, oh my God, the service is quick. Yeah. Oh my God, they cooked it. Oh, uh, well. okay. Oh my God, you know, we're all starving and it's 1 a.m. But we found a Denny's off a truck stop. <laughs> it's kind of like, we have to be like objective to everything. So okay. everything you have to be like, oh, this is the best chick This is ever still... Had. Denny's is worst case scenario to me. Okay. Fair. I would go to Checkers and Baja Fresh over Denny's. No way. 100%. You would not go to Checkers over I Denny's. I fucking hate it. I hate it. Well, do they, let me ask you this. Checkers is Let rough. me ask you this, Bo. This will determine, do they have the Hobbit menu in this case <laughs> scenario? It's best case scenario. Do they have the Hobbit menu? <laughs> What was it? Bottom there, like of the best. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Like a, a Nazgul over Miami or something? It was like a like a Hobbit uh Hobbit hole, like uh you know the like thing with, no, with the toast with the egg in the middle? Yeah, yeah. Oh so good, dude. Dude, I love nah, that. Nah, Danny's is lit. Let's put it top of the <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think because of the utility of yeah. it always being open, it could be the Absolute last in D. No, put it over Carl's for the Hobbit menu. 
And they also had a Hoobastank thing once that was really good. <laughs> like a, a, a skillet, Hoobastank skillet. It was fucking awesome. For Hoobastank? Yeah. Yeah. It was like, they had like a, a Kelly Clarkson thing, a Hoobastank thing, what? and like some other band. Yes, I swear to Hoobastank, God. Hoobastank, okay. I get, I get Hoobastank and Lost Profits confused all the time, and I should stop oh, doing God. that. <laughs> yeah, th- th- not the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, now is Domino's. Mm. And dude, goes, I'm very pro Domino's. Goes hard as fuck, dude. Yes, dude. You can you can customize fucking everything. You can eat their keto. Yeah. You get a fucking pasta bowl without pasta. It sucks, but you load it up with cheese, meat, and veggies. Yeah. And this is Anyone, best case scenario? Yeah, yeah. But so it's like a good one. Bro, when that pan, when the pan pepperoni is cooked with love. Yeah. The and, garlic crust. And apologies, oh. just ignore this. When you dip it in some ranch. Yeah, yeah. It's, I would dip it in the garlic butter. See? It goes crazy. It goes, re- it, and it's, I, in my opinion, out of the fast food pizzas, it's far and away. I have food. one I prefer, but Domino's top of C, easy. Oh, dude, you know what's not on here is Jets. I should add Jets. I know. It's okay. Damn. That doesn't so even saying, belong in this league. It's, it's you're, I mean, yeah. you're literally right. You're saying top of C? I might. Let's say we're let's say we're in the green room, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on you like on DoorDash. Yeah, yeah, looking at what's around. I'm probably ordering Domino's before I'm ordering Del Taco. But that, you know, it's tough. I just wonder if that's your. Are you bias. not? No, I'm. I'm getting Del Taco for sure. What about Chipotle? I'm getting everything in B over Domino's. You but think I would so? get Domino's before Arby's. You Burger gave King me Canes in S, so let's put Domino's in C. In C. Top of top of C. Top of I C. I really truly think it fucking dude. The wings rock. They got the Pepsi wings. Products, the wings they, do not rock. The, no, no, no. But but they're like it's like five ninety nine. Add your pizza. Yeah. And you could just get some fucking. I'm not saying some they're, they're breaded, not wings stuff. Yeah. 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 All right. <sighs> Next is Derek. Oh Cooper. God. But here's the thing. We got to talk about the food, right? Yeah. This the ain't about dessert on its own. No. Nobody's no, going here for food. And and if you are, it's, I'm not going. Oh, my tour God. No way. For a burger or like Moz sticks? No fucking way. Put it, put it over Blimpy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for yeah, straight for up. the dessert alone. For the dessert alone, respect to the queen, but that's about it. You know what, dude? When they had this, uh, they had a pumpkin pie blizzard that, mm. that Brittany showed me. Mm-hmm. That went fucking hard. <laughs> it literally tastes like you're eating a pumpkin pie. I get the same thing always. It's always a cookie dough at any of mm. any place that has a mixer or whatever. Mm. It's a cookie dough, whatever the fuck. Every time. El Pollo Loco is next. I think I've been twice. So it's been a really long time for me. And I guess in that time, like people are like swearing to me, like, bro, you got to go to El Pollo Loco. Things have really? changed. They really? stepped it up. So I feel, I, I feel like neither of us can responsibly rank this right now. Mm. So should we say never had? I, we've both had it. I've I haven't had it in so long that I know it's a completely different entity now. They have like so, birria. Really? Yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy. They've they've the become period last year. My hotel was across the street from one, and it was the only thing open. So I like walked there, and there was a man pissing on the entrance. Oh, okay. Cool. So I turned back around. Um, I'm fine with putting it in never had because I think that's a non offensive spot. We're not yeah, I don't want to. It's like it's obviously better than I. Well, but at the same time, I'd rather go there than Denny's right now. I can say that. You know. So would I. Would, I would. I would. If it was next door to a Burger King, I'd probably go to El Pollo Loco too. So would I. Let's put it right there between Arby's right, and Burger right in the middle. King. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> that just shows you how crappy all of these are <laughs> all the dnfs is like i haven't been here in like 15 years but i would still <laughs> yeah 100 dude Baja next is firehouse subs again. i think the place fucking sucks oh it sucks it's so su- okay good dude thank god yeah no there's a couple is quiznos on here yes i think you know it's basically quiznos right or pop ellie yeah, like the yeah same 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 vibe gimmick. except like 
fireman themed. Yeah, yeah. I just don't. I don't give a no. shit. But top of F. Yeah, they I could be I, giving I away there. subs, and I would say no thanks. I'm going to, if if we're on tour and it's an A and W and a firehouse subs next door. I'm getting a large cheese curd and a root beer float <laughs> and a, from a and a root beer float. Yeah, yeah. Dude, done. With you. done. All right. Now, this one's tough. We're going to get heat for this. <laughs> now, now is five guys. The Dark Lord of Mordor. I, yeah. I don't. I don't fuck with it. There's there's something and like I, I shouldn't take this personally, you know. But when somebody is like fuck in and out, five guys is better. Oh, get lost! It, it's it's personal to me. Yeah, yeah. It, it, like I legit think you're so stupid that I want to <laughs> like engage you in combat. You know, <laughs> it's it it sucks. It's well, if it was ten dollars for a meal, you'd be like, oh, it's pretty good. I would eat it hundred percent. You know. You know. It's so expensive yeah. for not that much food. And I understand, listen, I am, I'm a believer in, hey, good quality food mm-hmm. should cost money. Yeah, no, I agree. But we got somebody look coming at, up. Look in at Shake two Shack, spot- dude. We got somebody coming up in two spots. Oh. And it's the most affordable, yeah. good quality shit ever. So five guys that is, have you like, uh, the, uh, probably five different times in my life I've been like, all right, I'll give it another shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five out of five times I've been like, still fucking sucks. And was $30. And was, yeah. And I'm, I got to call my grandma to <laughs> like th- tell her that she missed my birthday or something after Kim, that, you Kim? know? Grandma, right, please. So, t- I mean, I. Oh. Yeah, now, but okay, but this is yeah. where it's tough. Yeah. Yes. Because are you really going to go to Arby's over five guys? No, no. So, and if there's a Domino's next door, I'm probably going to be like, I'll try five guys one more time. Exactly. I want to like it because they're everywhere. Brother, Bojangles, Boston Market, Chipotle, Del Taco, Culver's Cookout. Not even close. Uh, okay. So let's put it after Domino's. Or no, uh, oh, over above, Domino's? Yeah, top of C. Okay. To- I, I think, honestly, that's like objectively fair. Agreed. Because we would both love to be like, fuck it, never going, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But like, we're, we're trying to be like, no. It is tasty. It's a burger. Burgers are, are burgers are, are good. right here. You know. Yeah. Hate breed. <laughs> hate hate burger. <laughs> um. All right. Now we got IHOP. Yo, I, I gotta put some respect f- on IHOP real quick. Yeah, but it's so expensive. Oh, I don't care for what it is. It's <laughs> okay. It is. It is a pure nostalgia <laughs> thing for me. Yeah, dude. The stuffed French toast. Stuffed French oh. toast goes crazy. They give. The, there's the one day a year they do the free pancake day. You ever? You can go in and eat for free. It's insane. And before that was a viral phenomenon, you'd sit there for two, three hours and, you know, <laughs> gorge. <laughs> my, I've told this on here before. Yeah. My dad would go to IHOP by himself and not tell me and Taylor. And there was one day where we were like, where are you going in the morning? He's like, I go to IHOP, man. And we're like, what the fuck? We like that. He's like, I didn't know. I didn't want to bother you guys. What? So then there were a few times where we started all going to IHOP together and it was like this, like as adults. Yeah. And it was this became this beautiful thing of, of us, all the boy, the young boys eating IHOP together. <laughs> My mom and I used to go when she must've had, it must've been like payday or something. Cause it is expensive. And we used to go and I have a similar dude. It was right across. It was in the same parking lot as a, a the movie theater in my town growing up. And it was like for some reason open kind of late, so mm. it was also like a go after the movie kind of thing. Interesting, too, which is which is a lot of fun when you're like a teenager. It's good order, ordering fries. Yeah, it it is good. Also, it's like kind of southern hometown comfort service. Oh, but they also have like biscuits and gravy and shit. Yeah, too. yeah. Like they have like southern stuff. It's all their attitudes are always good. The ihopista, you know. <laughs> I say between Arby's and Pollo Loco. It's better yeah, than Denny's. Yeah, I'm not, I'm no not like question. going to IHOP instead of ordering Domino's. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, behind Arby's. Behind Arby's. I love it. Now. <laughs> the top of the best. In-N-Out yes. Burger is next. In-N-Out Burger, I, I don't, I, I swear to God, I think anybody who hates on it, who tries to say, it's not that, like, blah, 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 like, you're just doing the bit. Yeah. You're not 
No, I, it's, it's, it's 100% personal to me. It is 100% personal. It's the most affordable. The quality is incredible. The, I've never had my order messed up. It's open late as fuck. It's open until one or two in the morning, depending on where you uh, go. If it's the weekend, yeah. Coke products. Coke products. A touchless. Uh, they're all the like things you just hover your finger over it and it pours now. Oh yeah, right. So it's, you um, know. milkshakes, hot cocoa that you show. I me. love the hot chocolate, dude. Dude, uh, the fries I don't like. I love. But I just don't. I just don't get them. Mm. I don't need them. I enjoy the burger so much. I can gorge at In and Out for like twelve bucks. Isn't that fucking crazy? That's better than Taco Bell. You know, dude, if you're on the road too, and like, like, especially dude, when in 2018, when I was like full keto, oh my God, I was getting protein style double doubles with water (laughs) and spending $10, $12. Great point. I, when in my ketoist, in my skinniest era, 168 pounds soaking wet, I was starting my day every day with a four by four protein style. And it, it because it felt like the most substantial thing yeah. you could, I could eat, and it never I never got tired of it. Uh, I was so healthy, which is <laughs> insane. Yeah, I know. Uh, Supposedly they they pay everyone really well yeah. who works there. It's like a good job. Dude, the general managers make the like local general managers make like six figures, and like you can tell. Yeah, everyone's always cool when you like. I've never had a bad experience with anyone who works there. I'm 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 all in on in and out. I'm all in and out. It's also it's the only fast food place where I've an, an accomplice and I a man in the drive through and they didn't snitch. Wow, unbelievable! <laughs> I love it. That there's zero argument. No. There's no room for discussion. There are places on this list that I like more than in and out, but I know. The in and out is the number one. Number one. Does that make sense? 100%. Because I'm being objective. All right, next is Jack in the Box. How do you feel about Jack in the Box? Garbage, dude. Really? Garbage. Just no, there's no redemption? There used to be. I like them shitty tacos. I have to. Oh, <sighs> God. Yeah, I like I mean, them. You and a lot of people, I loved when yeah. vegetarians thought that they were vegetarian. Oh, it's that just, was a it's hilarious just the worst, era. Yeah, the worst ground beef ever. <laughs> do you remember the Burger King tacos? Like yeah. a while ago, like when we were young. Yeah, they were, were yeah. They were the same thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I would eat a Jack in the Box over Firehouse Subs. It might be the top of F. Uh, I would say below Carl's. You'd, you'd eat Jack in the Box over a w Yes, and, uh, and I'm going to give a special shout out to the steak and cheddar ciabatta that they had when I was in oh. high school. <laughs> okay. Dude, it was unreal. It had to have been like unsustainable to make. I see. It was like it was a, like a fresh ciabatta bun. Yeah. And like diced up like medium rare steak oh. it, with like <laughs> lettuce and tomato. It was so good. I got it five days a week easily when this thing was around. Uh, it was short lived. It was so good. And then they took it away and I haven't really gone back since. So I'm going to give it D over F for the steak and cheddar ciabatta for that, for what they gave me once upon a time Okay. in my life. Coke so, products. And you're going to, you put, oh, there you, I mean, that's you huge. Know. They also have Dr. Pepper. Huge. Okay. I, I, I like that placement. I would put it over Carl's Jr. personally because no, it's no, cheaper. No, no. See, that, I mean, so I, but cheaper. like, I, I mean, again, you and I, yeah, if I, I took you to Carl's, you'd be like, damn, this is good. Like, I'll show you the stuff, you know? Mm. I like Carl's. Next, we have Jersey Mike's. <sighs> and boy, oh boy, do we love Mike. We, I, I ride <sighs> for New Jersey Michael. <sighs> he's only bested by one guy. Yeah. Is he on here? Yeah, no. he's right next to him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Although, Jersey Mike's has that shit that I love. The fucking... Relish shit. What's the spicy stuff? Yeah, the the cherry pepper relish. Oh. Yeah, but Jimmy John's has the hot peppers, which tastes exactly the same. Oh, okay, okay. You okay. just have. I mean, I have. I don't think I've told you that yet. 
I, no, I, I, I haven't put you onto them yet, but they're just as good. So because of my first job being Subway yeah. and me having an aversion to Subway, I've hated sub places for the majority of my life mm. just because there's a certain smell. There's a certain like just grimace mm-hmm. I have on my face. Um, I got into Jersey Mike's probably within the last couple of years. Wow. We me don't have me too. I, I wasn't I, really I, into yeah. it until Lana put me on. There you go. And again, I wasn't a sandwich guy growing up. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Dude, when we went, when we were at FYA and we got it. Oh, I told you that was a good one. And it, it was a I good one. I was like, one. let's go to Jersey Mike's. Trust me. The, uh, the, the, the gals ringing us up were like all fucked up. They oh, that like was awesome. All high. They're high as hell. And it was like, they knew what I wanted. They were <laughs> they just knew, piling yeah. that meat on there. Oh, so good. The Jersey um, Mike's Italian is the second yes. best fast food Italian sandwich in the world. Ooh. Oh, I love that. It is. Love I would that. say I'm going there over, over Culver's. No, but only because that Culver's is special to me. So you tell me having access okay. to both. What are you going to? Right. We don't have Jersey Mike's here. Oh. Yeah. So it's I've special to you. It. It, it is special to me. I would I would go to – honestly, dude, I think we should put Boston Market over Chipotle, by the way. I'm just looking at it. I'm with you 100%. It's, okay. it's, it's healthier. It's delicious. It's good for me. It's good for me, yeah. Um, I would put Jersey Mike in between Dell and Boston Market. No, between Boston Market and Chipotle. Yeah. I would see. I would go over Dell any you day. Go over all Del. day, dude. I go over Dell all the time. Right. True. At home, I live in trying as to say, equidistant dude, if it to was, both. If we were in a parking lot and there was the two, there's no way I'd go to Jersey Mike's. I'd go to Dell for sure. But that's because I I can't get it. I don't have it. See, and I live between both, and so I go to Jersey torn. Mike's frequently. Okay, so I'm going to go with your greater experience. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that makes sense. And then maybe you'll will do what you're f- leaning with this one because Jimmy mm-hmm. John's is next. That was the first one where I was like, maybe sub sandwiches are pretty good. Dude, you know, the best in the game, baby. You think it's the best in the game? I love Jimmy John's. Jimmy John. The wow. bread, the meat, the you service is like funny. You know, they're all yeah, like silly. Yeah. You can get a keto. You can get a very chips. yeah the unwitch right the unwitch yeah it's fucking good. <laughs> I think the Italian nightclub, add mm. hot peppers at Jimmy John's, mm-hmm. is the best fast food sandwich, like sandwich. Wow. Period. Like sandwich, not the best burger. sub. The best fast food sub. S- that, yeah, sub on earth. They they have it's called like the Huntsman or the Hunter's Lodge or something like that. It's like roast beef and provolone. That's the one I really like. See, I really like it. I, I, to, um, to me, it's over Jersey Mike's all day. Okay, so if they're across the, that's I'm, I'm actually like, I'm going over Culver's. That's crazy to me, just just because I grew up like I like it was the inverse. I get it. You had Jimmy John's. We just yeah. got it. Okay. I, my first time eating J- Jimmy John's, I think, was like oh, was uh. So there was an Dude. era in Vegas where all the Vegas hardcore kids worked at this one Jimmy John's. <laughs> and if you played Vega, if you played Eastside Joe's, they brought you a sandwich. Fuck yeah. Like for the entire band. That was like Albert, uh, Eddie, bunch of the guy, Dustin. <laughs> um, shout out. Shout out to them. <laughs> they're, they're still there. They're the ones like running this new wave of Vegas hardcore, which is great. Um, and I, I blew me away. And then at United Blood, I never ate. Any of Anything. the like local fun <laughs> stuff, I'd be like, I'm going to Jimmy John's. I would eat like two subs a day for three days at United Blood from Jimmy I John's. I remember there was one in Chicago on Milwaukee and you went there. You were like really excited to go there. Oh, and see? we were all like, Really? Oh, you know? I love it. Yeah. Okay. I'll put it I'll put it over Culver's. You don't have to do it, but see, you've had but it. But you whole know life. why I you know why I will? Because of how widely available it is. There's more Jimmy John's in the country than Culver's. Right. And that does matter. Availability matters. But also, I put Jimmy Jersey Mike's over Del Taco because I live close to them, and you would eat Del Taco over that. You've lived yes. near Jimmy John's and Culver's oh, forever. I'd eat Culver's. I'd eat Culver's. So for put, sure. put Culver's over it. Okay. We right. got to be fair here. I think that's very fair. 
What the fuck is Jollibee? It's uh, Filip- no Filipino idea. fried chicken, I think. Is it good? It is good. It's not great. I'm, I'm, let me double check that. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I've ever heard of it. I'm pretty sure it's Filipino. Jolly Bee. Yes, it's Filipino. Damn, I'm good. I, I got one thing right. Um, <laughs> it's 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 good. They have some wacky shit on the menu. Filipino food is like you you ever hear about the banana ketchup? No, it's like a it's like a a very much a thing there. Everybody swears it? by it. What is it? I don't like think banana it, flavored I, ketchup, or is it bananas with ketchup on it? No, it's like banana flavored ketchup. Which sounds vile to me, but I guess yeah. it's really just more of like a Anthony compared it to like an Angelo's sweet sauce. Oh, which. Okay. Yeah, I love that. I'm in. Um, I don't know that they have it at Jollibee. The last time I went there, I only got the, uh, what is it called? The fucking Jolly Witch or some shit. It has a funny name. Chicken have, Joy. Chicken Joy. Chicken Joy. Do they have anything with the the Filipino sausage on it, like the sweet sausage? Not that I know of. I've only had uh, the chicken joy. I love that shit. Okay. Where would you put it? <laughs> Under Carl's probably. I'd go there over okay. Jack in the Box. You know what? That, that's funny. I would try it. Yeah. Over yeah, Jack in the Box. Yeah. I would be like excited to yeah. try. How often do you see a chain that you've never had? You know? It's rare. There's only a few on here. Next we have the Colonel. I had great respect for this man. Dude, like growing up, KFC was like, oh, 96, fuck. 97. Yeah. If dad was bringing home KFC after work, a bucket. It's dude. a great day. Great day. Now, and then some, something happened. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, if we're on tour, I simply won't go. No. Yeah. You're right. Neither will I. No. So I would it's go, got, dude, I would go, I would go over firehouse subs. So that's a lie. Do, uh, you know what's crazy is they got rid of just grilled chicken. Well, like they used to have grilled, grilled chicken was a new chicken. thing. Right, right, right. But that? like, imagine. Yeah. In the world we like, live in now. Yeah, we're not selling it. <laughs> it's just like, okay. Dude, the popcorn chicken goes pretty fucking hard. And what are those little sandwiches? Now, over they, o- over and W. I think. I don't know. <sighs> okay. Think about it. Oh, I, I'm thinking think about, about eating, think, a, getting you and me. Yeah. Getting a large, Pepsi, uh, getting though. two large popcorn chickens with some ketchup, dude. I do love ketchup. They they have Pepsi. I don't know, but the biscuits are pretty okay. Biscuits legendary. Yeah. The the mash. Think about the mashed potatoes in your mind. Yeah. Can't you so distinctly taste them? Yeah, I bet you I could pick them up out of the lineup. One hundred percent. One hundred percent, because they're like kind of spicy. The mashed potato, hard oh. lower mashed potato <laughs> challenge. <laughs> dude, now we have the emperor himself. Uh, so uh, little Kaiser, yeah, little Caesar. This is again just one. It's it's like almost a Burger King to me, where it's like I respect it because it's gotten me through. Yeah, the crazy <laughs> you know? bread is fucking crazy. And, <laughs> but uh, someday we'll explain to like like kids, like yeah, we used to go to this place that was in a Kmart. Yeah, and grab a five dollar pizza. But this is, this is, to me, this is, I'm looking at this from the perspective of a touring artist. Oh, dude. Exactly. Bottom of the barrel. There's nothing rougher yeah. than the, than showing up to the show and you check the advanced schedule and it says like catering provided and you get in there and there's three hot and readies. That are not hot. It is a, and it is a, ready. a devastating <laughs> afternoon, you know? Yeah, it's and especially, are you ever stopping to go to Little Caesars? Never. That's kind of how we, yeah, never, and that's kind of how we've been determining all of this. Yeah. So under A and W, probably indeed. Yes, I agree. I think out of respect, shout out for the for, work. for crazy bread. <laughs> we'll put it in D, and I'm hundred percent going there over Firehouse subs. Yeah, I agree. But Dude, I'm getting a large, large cheese curd. From, you know. Oh God, Long John Silver's. Long John now. Silver's, and even as a fish head, yeah, I I won't step foot in this goddamn place. I've never had it, never. But out of principle, I want to put it in F. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes, you do. I want to disrespect Long John Silver. Yeah, you know, they have mushy fish and chips. 
There's nothing there for you. Wow. It's, 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 I would go to. How is this open? I, I, well, because it's all like KFC, Taco Bell, oh, Long John right. Silver's now. It's like in the, the family. It's in the Pepsi yeah. family. Yeah, exactly. How crazy is that? That's crazy. Pepsi's the Pepsi whole Co. Thing? Yeah. They own everything. They said it was cheaper. Like they were fighting Coke so hard in the fast food market that it was cheaper for them to buy Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, and what KFC. else? And KFC mm-hmm. than it was to just provide them soda and like fight with Coke. <laughs> it's crazy. It's got a gangster move, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's insane. <laughs> yeah. But I'm putting it, I would go to Checkers over Long John Silver's. I would, I, mean I would go to, I would get, a, again, I would get a blizzard over a meal at Long John Silver's. Done. <laughs> it's funny Fun. that it's still, everything's over Blimpy. Blimpy's probably pretty good. <laughs> it's probably dope. <laughs> Just move Blimpy to never had. We have, we could not yeah, tell I you think what that's it fair, tastes dude. like. Yeah. I think that's fair. Pardon this interruption. It's AG1 time. Wow. Let's talk about AG1, Bo. I, this is my first today. This is your first today. Shall oh, we? Yeah. Let's oh, enjoy. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Reg, here's to you. Mm. Oh, wow, he really went for it. And he there you go. Does. That just goes to show you how easy it is. It's that. I did that. That took me five seconds. You watched it. And now my body is happy. It was not <laughs> it a few minutes ago. Yeah. And that's uh, that's the thing that we want to emphasize is that like it's just a daily thing you forget about. Yeah. I look forward to it. It's, it's usually how I start my day. Today was a weird day for me, but that's a great day. It's a good, yeah. <laughs> it is usually how I start my day. I feel you've often said it best. I notice when I don't take it, which shows yeah. me that my body likes it. And we have not been sick on record one time <laughs> since we started, which just goes to show this, this gorgeous daily supplement we've been taking thanks to our buddies at ag1 mm-hmm. is a is a health altering thing for the best i will be packing eight packs for england because yeah. i ain't going nowhere without it that much. this is i mean this is going to be the a, a, an amazing test because i've never traveled internationally without getting sick there you go so this is like this is this could be mm. a groundbreaking <laughs> thing for me frankly what so, else? Uh, code Hardlore. Yeah. Athleticgreens.com slash Hardlore. Yes. You get five free travel packs. And God knows if you're traveling like we are, you're going to need them. And a year supply of the vitamin D, vitamin K drops. Check it out. It's also <gasps> Manscaped time. What? <laughs> Speaking of, th- oh, what is, you got the big boy with you. This is the body wash. Oh my God. I'm loving that I, stuff. D- have you used the scrubber? I love the scrubber. Scrubber is amazing. I, it's, it's, that, it's, that feels like another thing I just have been missing my whole life. I, dude, you know? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's helped so much. I guess much. these things are out there for they us. They exist. It smells so nice. Lathers up real good. Real good. I get compliments all the time. Hey, you smell good. <laughs> I'll be laying on the bench at the gym. Balls radiating this a mile away. Guys run. Head first. Hi. Yeah. Where, what is that scent, bro? Mm. You need a spot? And I'll go, no. It's Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> Code Hardlore for 20% off and free shipping. Free shipping. And your balls will, your balls will thank you, I think, is their. That's their thing. Is their thing, which, like, honestly, is real. <laughs> they really do think. My balls me. speak fluent English now. It's amazing. Say so thank you, Manscaped. So once again, code hard lore, twenty percent off, free shipping. That's right. Go get it. Use it. It helps us. That's right. Big time. Big time. They're the best. They have been our day one sponsors. It is what not time. Oh my God. Our favorite thing in the world. We get to do a live show for the hard lore people. You get to own a bunch of exclusive stuff explain, that doesn't exist anywhere else. Explain what not to me, Colin. Sell me it. Bowen, yeah. Whatnot is like Twitch meets Cameo meets eBay. Huh. You get to see your your favorite people do a live thing all while getting to own a bunch of their stuff or a bunch of stuff they think is cool. Wow. 
Then that sounds sick. And what exactly do I get from using code hardlore? Or Thank using you the for invite asking. Lead if you link. click our special little link in the description, mm-hmm. you get fifteen bucks off your first purchase. What? I know fifteen, and, and that doesn't necessarily have to be a purchase from us, though it can be. It you should can, be. You can use it. Should be, but you can use that <laughs> on the site. Yeah. Now, period. Yeah, and you know you should you could check out a ton of our buddies on there. Mm-hmm. Dan Housen, Lars Brody, Frederickson, Brody King, Brody F and King. So just check it out. Download the app. Put in the code. Mm-hmm. Come on. That's it. Get on whatnot. We'll be back on there in July. It'll be very special. Okay. Back to the episode. Now we have the grandest champion of them all. All oh, about hail them. Lord Ronald. But now here's my question. Yeah. Where do we put it in regards to In N Out? Does In N Out bow to McDonald's? Here's the thing, brother. If, yeah, if this, I'm in, so this is what I wanted from you. You got to explain ready? this to if me. If I'm in Stockholm, Sweden, mm. and Mr. in and out ain't helping me, Ronald is <laughs> saving my life. Ronald yeah, is like the, the, internationally, Bo? Yeah. Ronald has performed CPR on me yeah. hundreds of times. He's like the, the is it the 82nd Airborne? Just yeah. always ready. He's Just, always there, dude. He's, a, he's a corpsman. I'm in the trenches taking fucking bazookas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I, he's number one. I think he's number one. It's the goat. The goat. All right. I'm 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 with this. You know, I like, agree with and this. And obviously bad McDonald's sucks, you know? And it, and it happens. I've never had bad in and out. I have had plenty of bad McDonald's. Absolutely. But I've also had great McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like even bad McDonald's. <laughs> and when you have like our friend Dan Housen, you have the the measuring stick of would you rather have eaten there? Yeah, that tells you something. With like fine dining, like nah, I, I, I should have gotten McDonald's. I, I should have gotten a twenty piece. Let's go. It it is. And again, you can make it work on any diet, basically. Basically, yeah. I've boy, have I had fucking. McDouble's no bun. Many Big Mac salads have been eaten. Oh in my, day. my god! Dude, but dude, let's let us not look past the fucking, um, the breakfast, uh, the McFlurry, the breakfast, the soft serve, the hot fudge sundae. Oh my god, the McFlurry, apple pies, the fries. Yeah, come on. No, I mean, it's it, it's universal. It's everything, and it's always been Coke. It's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. All right, they. they Stop selling Coke Zero, which is crazy to me. They just one day were like, we don't have that anymore. Mm. But they have Diet Dr. Pepper all the time. It's bizarre. Oh, that is weird. Hmm. Moe's. Oh. There was a minute where, yeah, there, yeah, exactly. There was God. a minute where it was like, Moe's might be better than Chipotle. Oh. And it was just like, no. Just because they, they had, had queso. And, so Chipotle said, and, shut and the fuck stuff. up. Here's our queso. They had, they had tofu or whatever. Uh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So Moe's for me. Under little C, man. D- yeah, out of respect. Yeah. Get out of here. Moving on. <laughs> Maybe top of F, honestly. Um. Yeah, let's go top I, of F. Fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Fuck Mo. Fuck Mo. Dude, oh, how do you man. feel about noodles and company? <laughs> <laughs> noodles and company I, is a rare treat for me. So we have them. Yeah. I love them. You go frequently? Dude, they have keto everything, mm. very non-keto everything, all kinds of like whatever, like Mediterranean, Asian, like fucking shitty Wisconsin mac and cheese. Like they got flatbread, they got grilled chicken, they got breaded chicken, they got Coke products. Wow. They, they got desserts. I love Noodles and Company. I think of the elevated cuisine. Yeah, big time. Accelerated it's, it's cuisine? Accelerated. It's accelerated. I not, think it's, that's not quite fast food, but it is a treat. I think it's the top of the, also they still play ball little mm-hmm. little secret for you guys yeah. if you're on the road maybe talk to them give, give them a call they'll play ball top of B it, okay well and I'm, I'm just, not going there over cookout I'll be honest so that's you. exactly that's if I'm in a parking lot I'm going to cookout I'm going oh fuck I've been meaning to try it yeah but uh, but over Culver's I'll put it over, over Jimmy Culver's. John's yeah I love noodles and it's company. delicious I fucking oh 
Oh, man. What do we got next, Colin? <laughs> oh, my God. The Lord Panda himself. Oh. Yo. Ah, shit, man. Yeah, yeah. See, this is why putting a, a limit on S tier is fun. Because this it is, this is e easy S for me, for me personally. You know? I, dude, I love, if I see a panda, I'm like psyched. I'm like, oh, fuck yeah. Like, I love panda. <laughs> Double orange chicken, teriyaki tri chicken, triple orange chicken, rice and noodles. Triple triple <laughs> orange, half chow mein, half super greens. Yeah, you get the greens. I'm chicken egg roll. <laughs> the biggest diet coke in the game, dude. They don't do. I think they're Pepsi. No, I'm. They have Mountain Dew. No, no, Pepsi. No, no, no. Oh no, no. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Trust me. You you be lying, well, bro. Well, who do you think has eaten at Panda Express more of the two of us? You surely, you know where the first Panda Express is. I can <laughs> tell you, <laughs> I ate there every day for about a year. The Glendale right. Galleria, baby. You're right. They do have Coke. Yeah, because they have bottles too. Wow. Why did I? I was so sure oh, I had gotten no. Mountain Dew before. They have both. I should have okay. bet my life on that because I'm. Yeah, yeah, I can't tell right. you the 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 large is this big, dude. Yeah, it's massive, mate. I I. <laughs> All right. So where's it going? Listen. For now, over Canes. Wow, you're putting it S. So you're in a parking lot with a cookout and a panda? You're going to panda? Bo, I could be in a cookout with Morton's <laughs> and fucking uh, Momofuku and I'm going to panda. <laughs> well, I don't really fuck with Canes, so I love it. I, I, there was a period, there was a two or three year period where I ate panda at least three times a week. There was a year where I ate it five times a week. You know, it's another one of those places where even bad panda is like still pretty fucking bad. Bad orange chicken is incredible. Yeah, because you're just eating fried nothing. But <laughs> uh? when you get a disrespectful pandista mm, who gives oh you that God. sad scoop of orange chicken. Dude, fuck yourself. Oh, my God. That's I, Yeah, I think that's what I'm getting for dinner. <laughs> panda, I, yo, honestly, <laughs> good call. One, I uh, one just opened up next to me. Oh my god. Watch. That's a brand new one. Now we have the opposite <laughs> end of the fucking god. pendulum. Piece of shit hospital food check, Panera bread. Check nonsense. this out. Check this out, Bo. Dude, hit me with it. Panera bread, bottom of F. Yeah. I I'll go to Long John Silver's over Panera bread. One hundred percent. I'm uh, dude. Wow. It's not even that's not even close to me. It is so Outside so of the spectrum of what I would eat on purpose, <sighs> hospital food. Uh, straight up. It's cafeteria nonsense warmed up in a microwave food. Garbage. Now we have Papa Jay's, which I don't know if you can tell, but his face is crossed out in this picture <laughs> because, of his, because of his lurid past. Yeah. Um, I have mixed feelings about Papa John's. I, I, I'm, I I'm okay with it. Domino's is definitely better. Yeah. You know? It's the only um, one that's not Detroit style. Oh. Of all the fast food pizzas. Interesting. So it's a completely it's different flavor profile. Interesting. I um, think the stuffed crust is like amazing. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And they got the garlic butter. The garlic you know. butter. Fuck. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But I still, you know, I think it's going to be D for me. Hmm. I, I might put him at the top. Uh, I'd go to Denny's over him. I know you wouldn't. I would not. But I could put him at top of D. I would okay probably go. You would go to Arby's over Papa John's. Yeah, definitely, definitely. There used to be one right across the street from me on Damon, like right there, and I can't. I might go under Burger King over churches. Yeah, because I like under it. Burger King. I I can respect. Yeah, I like it. Okay, I like Burger King. So I want yeah. I I want Burger King to be respected. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what this next one is. Yeah, PDQ. I don't know what that is. We're gonna put it in never had. Never had over Bloomfield. <laughs> <laughs> what about Penn Station? Never had it. East Coast subs, never had it. Over Blimpy. Oh. Pizza Hut. The big hut. Nobody out pizzas the hut. Wing Street. Which is uh, you know what's funny is like they kind of all out pizza the hut. I'm not gonna lie. I firmly disagree. <laughs> <laughs> really? I you think love, Domino's is better? I think it's better than Domino's, yeah. But wow. I, we were a Pizza Hut house. 
We were a Domino's house. And that's how it works. For sure. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's pure. And that's why I can't. And I would say. I think Domino's has better deals. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No? The Pizza Hut app is comparable to the McDonald's app. Oh, okay. Try, okay. Let's see what I've got on there. Yeah, let me check Domino's. I'm going to tell you, I for yeah. sure have at least one free pizza right now. <laughs> let's see what we got. Let me log in. All right. Okay, it, points deducted for it logging me out of the app. That's bullshit. Um, let's see. A perfect combo deal is $20. Let's see what that includes. Uh, where is that? Domino's. So I'm just going to see what 20 bucks gets me. You know what I mean? I have 280 rewards points right now. Okay. I can get a free medium pizza and breadsticks. But give me like, if you, if you aren't a degenerate in eating pizza hut, like a psycho, I don't get it often. Well, give me and something that like that. someone with no points can get, you know what I mean? Oops. Cause here's, here's something from Domino's. Okay. Two or more large two topping pizzas. Uh huh. Ten ninety nine. <laughs> two, two. Wait, ten ninety nine each. Oh, each priced at yes. My apologies, that's not that. Okay, right. let's check out the pizza deal because I they got some deals. This deal two is- medium, two topping pizzas, and a sixteen piece parmesan bread by eighteen ninety nine. There you go. That's <laughs> that's a hell of a deal. Two mediums and a sixteen piece bread bite with sauce. Compar- okay, this is the book it bundle right now. Okay. Two largest. Oh shit. Twenty five ninety nine, and breadsticks and, or cheese sticks, and they donate a dollar to First Book Literature Society. <laughs> fuck, fuck them kids, dude. Yeah, that's a pretty comparable deal for two larges versus two mediums. So that it, it, they all you know, got. Guess, there's always a deal. Yeah. If you're this, the yeah. moral is, if you're ordering pizza, go to the deal the section on the app because there's always the something. All right, where are we putting the hut? Okay, I think. Here's I a, think out of respect to our mutual experiences, we just put it next to Domino's, but we consider it. No, no, no. Because here's the thing. I'll be real with you. Okay. A perfectly cooked Domino's pan versus yeah. a perfectly cooked Pizza Hut pan. Yeah. The Domino's smokes it. Objectively. I, res- I respect your objectiveness. And Domino's has better ranch. I'm which you're not up. factoring in, but I am. Possibly the best. My most favorite. Fast food, fried chicken, Popeyes. S. <laughs> no. <laughs> no fucking way is yes, it S, dude. dude. I love that chicken from Popeyes, but there's no S. way it's better than cookout. You're in a parking lot with noodles and company. It, it and is the You're going to best fast food, fried chicken, 100%. I'm with you. The biscuits but are yeah, that You're right. You're right. I live next to one, and I don't go that often. But when mm-hmm. I do, dude, the blackened chicken. The blackened chicken is good and keto. It's made Hello. to order. They hate you when you get it. Yeah, they hate it. Yeah, <laughs> they, they hate it. fucking so mad when you get it. But, they the, hate dude, it. the fried chicken, the, I stopped going to Chick-fil-A because of the Popeye's fried chicken sandwich. Dude, the fried chicken sandwich from Popeye's was fucking awesome. It was a cultural phenomenon. Phenomenon. And it was really good and bigger yeah. than the Chick-fil-A bigger, sandwich. Bigger, cheaper. The but bun? I, just, I don't, I can't put it over noodles. I can't put it over cookout. I would, I personally couldn't put it over Culver's, but I think it's top of B, I think is where it goes. All right. Let me think about it from this perspective. Okay. On tour, I don't know how consistent it is. Sometimes no. I've had Popeyes that's made in malice. Oh yeah. But my the second God, that when door. it's good. Yeah, I know. My mom and I not too long ago ordered a, a Popeye's dinner, like the DoorDash or whatever, and it was awful. Oh, really? It was made with pure spite. Made, made malice. Okay. Yeah. You, you, let me, okay. I'm comfortable putting it over Culver's because of okay. the nationwide accessibility to it. That's fair. But you live near Culver's. Um, I've had yeah, Culver's but twice. I, I also, <laughs> I think there's a, uh, I think there is a, consideration to be had that we're saying that it's the best of its kind period right so i think i think that that i'm good with it over cold okay. after noodles i think okay. that that's fair all right oh man next one i'm torn on dude. holy moly because portillo's is my like heart and soul yeah coke products crinkle cut fries 
Italian beef sandwiches. I, I, I don't think this belongs on this list. I don't either because I don't, it's not, it, it has to be one of the least accessible ones on the list. Yeah. Um, but man, I'm getting a, a beef sandwich over just about anything on here. Oh, you're, you're, you're going to make me cry. It is, it is like, if that's fast food, man. Yeah. It is the most accelerated cuisine. It is so fucking good. The dogs okay. are incredible, but the beef sandwich was like a religious experience one. for me. Yeah. That's the one. Oh, that makes me so happy. Bottom, bottom of S for now. Oh, bless you. Dude, but see, I, okay. No, no. Here's bless the thing. Here's the thing. No, I know. I know. P- put, it over be put it over Canes. That's my man. That's my boy right now. Just. All right. Pop belly. You'd have, <laughs> you'd have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> they have um, really good. I know that we're not really counting, but like malted milkshakes at Pop belly. No, the really cookie. Good. I think they have like a cookie that's really good, too. Yeah, um, they, they do. Very but here's good. the thing, but, man. If your yeah, sandwich no. place doesn't have a, like the best cookie ever. Yeah. K-I-L-L-Y-O-U-R-S-E-L-F. <laughs> the other funny thing about Pop Belly is, is like whenever I go to places like that or Quiznos or something, I always just get a fucking like meatball sub, which is like the easiest That's easy thing. though, but that's like, that's safe. You know that's, I mean? a, that's as safe as an Italian, you know? It just goes to show you how little confidence I have in the product. Yeah, that's true. That's my point. So where do you want to put it? I'd go... I'd go to Moe's over Pop I would Belly. go to Moe's over Pop, Pop but Belly. But I'd go to Pop Belly over Firehouse. 100%. For sure. All right. And I'd go that. to anything in D over, over Pop Dude. Belly. Dude, saying we would go to Little Caesars over Moe's or Pop Belly is so funny. Would you not? 100%. Right? Of course. $5, $6, yeah. whatever then Because they have yeah. other stuff. You could try the Detroit style, you know? Oh, no. that'd be fun. I haven't seen a standalone Little Caesars in a minute. <laughs> They're all over the place here. Yeah. Next we have Qdoba. How do you feel about Qdoba? Yeah. Big, the burritos big aren't very fart. good. Do you know what's really good at Qdoba though? Is the quesadillas for some reason are actually really tasty. I love I got it on a whim once. I got it on a whim once. At the building I used to work in one, work in had one in the basement. Hmm. Got it on a whim. Ate it every day for like months. Interesting. It was always open when I when my shift was on. So I appreciate it, but I like currently you'd have to sell me. Yeah, but I'm eating it over. No, I don't think I am. I I would I would I would never eat Moe's and Qdoba again over basically anything on here. You know, you would like I Jack would. Those are maybe the Qdoba? two or three things I would delete: Moe's, Qdoba, and Panera forever. You would go to Jack in the Box over Qdoba, hundred percent. Okay, because the Jumbo Jack is still a pretty good burger. Then we'll put it. Oh, over Moe's. yeah, they have. No. no. Moe's, do they have queso? Yeah. Is it as good yeah. as the Moe's queso? Because the Moe's queso is pretty good. I think it's better. Okay. I, I and, and queso is one of those things that I shouldn't like, but I do kind of like. Then let's leave it where it is. Let's leave it there. I, Top I of so. F is fair. Dude, now we have Quiznos, and like, I think Quiznos is a tragic story. It is. You know? Because they like, they had it. They had it. It was, was kind of like off. Krispy Kreme. It was like, yeah, it was just like, it was everywhere. God, if that was on they here, the, that would be top of the best. We love the moon. No, and the commercials. Dude, yeah, the commercial was good. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know about it though. I just don't. I wouldn't go. No. No. Like I would eat it at an airport, maybe. No. But I wouldn't that, stop. I'm not doing it. Um, okay. Fuck. Yeah, this is tough because I like don't even want this to exist in the world that I live in. I would go to Qdoba over Quiznos, but I would yeah. go to Quiznos over Moe's. <laughs> I hate. Most. I would go to Potbelly over Quiznos. Potbelly over. Okay, but Firehouse Subs. Oh fuck, but Firehouse Subs. <laughs> <laughs> I will not test. lick the boot of Firehouse Subs ever. Never, dude. Roy Never. Rogers, God. Fuck you, Roy. Probably under right on oh. right over Long John Silver's. <laughs> yeah, dude. right. Dude, I'm going to Dairy Queen over Roy Rogers. I'm getting a Blizzard over a full meal at Roy, Roy Rogers. Oh. Dude, Ooh. now we got my favorite New York slice. Dude, Sbarro was pretty good, man. Sbarro was not that bad, and we had one in the mall where I grew up, and you could get like baked mozzarella and shit. Like they have dude, other the Stromboli is kind of good. It's, yeah, and the <laughs> um, calzones and shit. Like they go. Yeah, no. I think Sbarro is. We all know what it is, so we're not saying it's like amazing pizza, no, but it's, like it's better than everything in F. 
I would say if you like as a five year old getting a slice of Sbarro in the mall was like the best part of the whatever day whatever else happened that day was nowhere near as good as that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh but like am I going there? You are know? you going okay, let me ask you, are you going to Sbarro or Qdoba? Sbarro. Really? Yeah, okay, put, put it under go- Little Caesar. Yeah, I think dude, show respect to the, the Emperor, dude. Yeah. Schlotsky's. Do you remember Schlotsky's? I never, I don't think I've ever had it. We had them here. It was, it's just a, a, a deli. It was pretty good. But to be honest with you, I don't even think they exist anymore. Really? I know James likes them because I can hear him saying it. Schlotsky's. Schlotsky's. Um, I'm going to put it in never had it because I don't think I've had it since. Oh, yeah, I've Bobby. never had it. I don't think I've had it since. Oh now, my God. Now we got a real heavy hitter. And, and I think Shake Shack Honestly, I would go to cookout right now. Yeah, over Shake Shack for to, to experiment, but I would go to Shake Shack over noodles. One hundred percent, top of top of B, top over cookout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a premium product, dude. It really is. They I got love. The relish. It. I get it all the time, dude. Shake Shack. I I was never, and I don't get the the Shack sauce or whatever the fuck. Oh. So I was like, I didn't get it, but you know what did it for me was the the relish, the cherry pepper relish. That's what did it. I needed that. And their ketchup is good. Their ketchup is good. The fries are great. Well, um, dude, the that shakes fry are with great. The, with the ketchup. Yeah, yeah, dynamite. It's really good. Yeah, I, okay. I I genuinely love Shake Shack, and they always have like a seasonal shake. Mm, yeah, like one year they had a pumpkin pie. I always love a pumpkin pie thing. The pumpkin yeah. pie shake at Shake Shack was like the best seasonal shake I've ever had. They got good breakfast stuff too, which I know you don't, but they have it. It's there. I've never had it. It's good. Dude, great egg, hot egg dog. Sandwiches. They have a hot dog. Yeah, it's a, it started as a hot dog cart in New really? York, in New, in like Central Park or something. I had no idea. Yeah. Now we have Sheets, which is a gas station. <laughs> yeah, but they got. I mean, food. yeah. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm sure there are people out there who don't know what it is because both Sheets and Wawa are only available in pretty exclusive areas. Honestly, dude, top of C. Over five guys. 100%. Think about it. <laughs> yeah. if it, Dude, I, I probably have gone to Sheets over five I wanna, guys. I'm for sure. I, right now, I would get a pepperoni pizza sandwich <laughs> from Sheets <laughs> rather than five guys. Because it's cheaper, you can customize it. You can get all yeah. I'm I can get you. a bag of I, chips with it. I can fill up my tank. I ride for sheets. The I, sheets I, you know what I decided, dude? We'll get to Wawa, but I'm I'm a I'm a conscience consci, consci, I'm an objector. <laughs> they're both dope. <laughs> yeah, they're both dope. I don't I'm not have picking to pick. a side. I get to go to both. Exactly. You know? I'm not picking a side in that one. Yeah, no way. Skyline chili. From what I remember, it's one of the worst things I've ever eaten. Crap, I'm sorry. But tastes change, and I, I feel like now I, I have a much more open mind culinarily. Yeah, yeah same. Should uh, we do never had? No, because I definitely was like, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, okay. I felt the same way. But I would buy- Firehouse subs or Skyline Chili? <laughs> but, but think about this. I'd rather go there right now as a guy who hasn't had it in a long time over a lot okay. of this stuff. Okay. I'd maybe put it right under Carl's. Just in terms of the excitement I would feel on tour. Okay. Okay. You know? So if you're in a, if you're in a, okay. I think I would try Jollibee just because I have no idea what that okay. is. Filipino fried chicken. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like that sounds wild. But, but a chili. hot dog with chili and cheese on it, you know, is yeah, like, it's... that's supposed to be one of the best things you can eat <laughs> in the world. <laughs> all right, all right. So, all right. you know? Yeah. Okay. We'll Moving see. on. How oh, do you feel about Sonic? God. Sonic is the one of the darkest things you can eat. There you go. There you go. Ugh. That's right. When you're It's a Ugh. Dude, it's a place that on paper should be incredible. Yeah. It should be all I've ever wanted. Yeah, yeah. And it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's that's a, that's a thing ch- where if you pull off in like a small town to get gas. They're always open. Yeah. And there there's there is a Sonic there. Yes. It's raging. Yes. And you'll be like, I guess we're here. Let's get Sonic. And it's like instant regret. It is some of the worst. Some of the worst food I've ever had was at Sonic. Yes. Yes. Burgers, bad. Fries, bad. Everything sucks. Except for the drinks. The drinks are fun. Yeah, the drinks are fun. 
They had fried cheesecake bites that were really good, but they're gone. Yeah, of course. They have like Maz sticks. I do respect any place that can give me a mozzarella stick. Yeah. But I would go um, to Sabaro over Sonic. Yes. I would, would I would go to Sonic over Qdoba. <laughs> Bottom of D. I, okay. Some of the worst food I've ever had, yeah. I would go there over Qdoba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> steak and right, shake not, is yummy. Dude, steak and shake doesn't get they let's give them their flowers. Yeah, let's Cheap, do it. they have four meals for four dollars. Yeah, that's crazy. In 2023. Crazy. They're always open. Yeah. Let's go. It's delicious. Um, it's delicious. It's good for me. They have great shakes. You can get, uh, can you get breakfast? I think you can get breakfast. I don't know. But you can get Ste- burgers. Steak and Shake was the first time I ever dipped a fry in like a cheese sauce. Oh. And I remember like chasing that feeling for years, being like, wow. I need to find that. Have you had the Portillo's cheese sauce? I don't know if I have. Oh, brother. Okay, that's I nice. believe you. I'm in. Um, steak I would and put shake. It, I would put it right under Burger King. You know what? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm going to Steak and Shake over Papa John's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Steak and Shake deserves a little more respect than it gets. Oh, they have man. Like Crisco's. They got sandwiches. All right, now listen. Here we go, dude. <laughs> if you know your alphabet, yeah. after ST in Steak and Shake, there's a place <laughs> called Subway. S U B. W A Y, are we talking about this? The, do we even need to? Let me ask you the worst case scenario. Yeah, do it. You're 20 hours yeah, from anything else. Absolutely. There's a parking lot of Panera and Subway. Oh my God. I'm running to Panera, dude. Dude, I'm sprinting. I'm in. running so fast to Panera. Okay. I'm getting the biggest this, bowl of broccoli cheddar you've ever seen. I, you know what? The broccoli cheddar is pretty good. <laughs> I'm, yeah, but it's I'm like, not gonna lie. It's like 1,200 calories yeah, for a cup. Yeah, it's so bad for you. Yeah, it's Dude, crazy. Subway, everybody out there, mm-hmm. listen to me. Love yourself. Yeah, yeah. Don't eat at Subway. There's always something better. Can always. you believe it it's, temporarily passed McDonald's as like the biggest chain in the world? I think it still is. I think there's more locations I of feel Subway. like Ronald is back in business. We brought, have you noticed what has happened with McDonald's since we started the show? Of course. It's like a thing. But like outside of hardcore, word is spreading. How many Subway's first McDonald's in the world has already been searched? Okay. Oh, Subway has 40,953 locations worldwide. We got a lot of enemies. McDonald's currently has 37,000. How can that be? Yeah. They're giving Subway's away for free. That's why. I bet you they have better franchising. Yeah. It's probably just cheaper to do. They give oh, it. Hold to you. on. Here's a 2022 one. Yeah, that was me, 2017. Oh, yeah. See, it's, that was when it happened. It's 43,000 to 38,000. It's still. That's just because my man Ron knows where to pick his spots. Yeah, yeah. I ain't never seen a McDonald's close. I'll tell you that. Dude, uh, uh, Subway is actually in fucking Walmart and shit. Yeah, you know I, I mean? absolutely like, have seen a, a McDonald's close. <laughs> yeah. Subway is bullshit. Everything is fake. It's the worst quality ingredients you can get. They bake the bread, but the bread comes in frozen. It's not like fresh bread. No, They're not making it's not. It legally was not considered bread in the UK for a while. It's awful. Yeah, please. It's the just worst fast. food in the world. I have gone without eating, overeating Subway. That's right. And I'll fucking Swenson's. do it again. <laughs> I'll do it right now. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been to Swenson's. I don't know what that is. Okay, it's going over. Put it over. Put it over <laughs> Dude, now we have, dis- oh yeah, come on, like a secret dark horse. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like this one that you, he's laying in the cut. You forget about him, dude. I'm going to Taco Bell over Culver's, Bro, dude. I, I it's hard. It would be hard for me to not put it in S because oh, I know. Think about it, man. Taco Bell is like the universal I truth. I don't want to lose Portillo's. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll but, assess but if it, I'm you know? being ob- if I'm being objective, okay. Think about All it. Right. Around I the know. country, most shows on tour end in Taco Bell. We all love Taco Bell. Yeah. And we can all eat it. And dude, when you want to talk about made with love? <sighs> dude, if you get your cheesy gordita oh. crunch made just right. <laughs> if we're talking best case scenario on this list, yeah. I don't yes. know if anything beats 
great Taco Bell. Panda. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Fresh <laughs> dropped orange chicken. Fuck. Dude, one time I got orange chicken that was so fresh that they warned me. Like, was it bubbly? They, no, they like were like, still your like- life is downhill from here. It was oh, so fresh shit. that they were like, like, dude, like, just so this, you know, this is going to be the perfect. best thing you've ever had. Oh, my God. And I, I ate it there. <laughs> I sat down. I dined in just because <laughs> they said that. And it was everybody. I was just like, oh, my. But, <laughs> but we're talking Taco Bell. This is about Taco Bell. Taco Cabana. Wait, no, no. no. Go, let, let's stay on Taco Bell for a bit. Oh, okay. And, and, and explain why mm-hmm. it needs to be there. Yeah. At, for one... They knew they were so fucked having Pepsi products that mm. they just mm. invented one of the best sodas in the world. And you know what? The canned or like sold separately version? Not, not, the not same. as good. It's not the same. And you they need know it from that. the fountain. And then what do they do? And then they made a fucking <laughs> diet one for us. Yes. And it tastes the same. It's amazing. It's one of the best zeros for sure. It might be the best one. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I go there to get one and leave. Yeah. Um, fuck, I love Taco Bell. Yeah, dude. man. They got they get rid of stuff. The fries, dude, the nacho the, fries, the nacho fries, one of the best fries in the game. They're absurd, and I mean that wholeheartedly. Yeah, no, I, I know. love I them. Know. I know. All right. Taco Cabana is next. The only story I've eaten there, it's fine. I never had it. The, the only story I've ever I have about Taco Cabana is Chris's birthday on Life and Death 2015. Um or maybe 17 eight, or 16, one, one of them. Chris sees a Taco Cabana sign. They're really they're a lot in the south, Texas. Yeah, yeah. They're around there. He pulls off in this van that we had this this uh shitty Dodge. Mm-hmm. It's closed. He, he goes, fuck. And Chris rarely drives. He sometimes he does. Floors it to get back up, destroys the van. The, the van, like the engine dies. So that's what Taco Cabana is to you. Yes. Anytime I see those fucking goofy ass. So letters. did you eat there? No, it was closed. Oh, okay. So put it over, Blimpy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have, I have eaten there, to be fair. Okay. But it, it's, it's not even worth yeah. it. Yeah. What is this next one? Torchies tacos. What I've is that? Who made this? I know, it's, it's going over Blimpy. <laughs> Go over, put it over Blimpy. Uh, Wolfenhausen. And... Dude, now, we got now, some heat now. coming up. Yeah, th- like this whole row is it's s- kind of fire. Waffle House. I know you said that because we ate it a bunch, you're kind of over it. Yeah, but still, look at this list, and like, I'm thinking about what I would rather eat it then. It's going over Denny. Like I'm going. Oh. Just look at the top of each tier. Right? No, so dude. Like it's, Denny's, no problem. Over Sheets, no problem. Over Shake Shack, no. I would say. I would say. Right uh, below Del Taco. Over Boston, yeah. Over Boston Market, yeah. They're like depend because like it's going to be cheap. Boston too. Market closes at like seven p.m. <laughs> yeah, know? Waffle House. I can tell open. you, I go there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that Waffle looks House, right. I've never paid the same thing twice. Yeah. I probably never had the same food twice. Oh my god, no! And let me tell you, you get a dinner and a movie every time. Yeah, every time. I I I love Waffle House. I've not burned out on it at all. <laughs> Excuse me. Next we have. Oh wow! Our second. Where gas is she that sells food? Sheets is top of C. I put it below Sheets because yes. to me, the Sheets entrees are better. Or no, no, no. I would say the Wawa sandwiches are a little better. Yeah. The sheets like treats. Yes. Are better. Right. But Wawa's got the Arnold Palmer. Very good. The diet the bottle Arnold yeah, Palmer. Yeah, the is, diet. Yep, 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 yep. Put it yep. at the top. Put it at the top. Yep. Yep. I think that that's fair. They have the diet Arnold Palmer. And, and the it's gobbler, so dude. Oh, the, the seasonal uh, gobbler. I can't wait to get a gobbler with you. Sheets has the beet dyed red hard boiled eggs <laughs> that I love. <laughs> oh, okay. So All right, now we have this is tough. My mother's namesake. Yeah, yeah. And old faith. I growing up, I wasn't a huge Wendy's guy. I was yeah. always McDonald's or Burger King. Mm. And now that I'm older, dude, a Dave's double fucking goes. I never go to Wendy's. Never. I never Fuck. go. But I, I, I get. I grew up eating it, and in Connecticut, it was definitely like McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. 
ah, in terms yes. of in terms of the quality that you get. It is like it tastes fresh. Yes, it does. And they say never frozen. Right. I don't but know but this true. is about us yeah. now. Where are we going? You know? It's also about best case scenario. Yeah, yeah, no, no. True. Dude, there's a there's a Wendy's that opened up on Western Avenue near near me. Mm-hmm. And they put, you know, like a sign that would be off a highway, huge Wendy's red sign, mm-hmm. and it's 10 feet off the ground. It's the most distracting thing when you're driving on one of the busiest streets, and then there's an apartment next to it. So oh. someone is waking up Kramer, to Wendy's. They're just, getting Kramer. By yeah, them. dude, straight up. Um, I would say under Waffle House. Really? Yeah. I go to Boston Market over Wendy's, no problem. See, the thing is, I, I can tell you I live next to both. I don't mm. go to either, but I, I, as a hungry man currently, yeah, at the, at I the would moment, rather you want a burger. Wendy's. You want a burger. Yeah. Over Boston Market. Wendy's over Chipotle is crazy. 100%, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just for all of you who are listening or watching, I think it's a little crazy. Then, but, then go with your gut here because I'm not going no. to either, you know? I'm not yeah, going yeah, to yeah. Wendy's or Chipotle for fun. But, like, that matters. Yeah, your desire to go to an establishment is part of it. I would rather go to Wendy's right now. If I was gun to my head, those three things next to each other, I would pick Wendy's. Okay. Oh, dude, the Frosty? Now, oh, the Frosty's all Give time. it up for ba- the Frosty. Baked potato, yeah. fucking chili, all the Game shit. over. It, Wendy's, is, it belongs right there. The Nuggets are fucking good, too. And the barbecue See, sauce Yeah, I don't is like amazing. the Nuggets. The Nuggets are too fishy for me. Interesting. They're fish sticky. It's probably what they fry it in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Whataburger. Newfound love. Yeah, no. Uh, we're, not we're love, down. but I, I'm fond of Whataburger. We're not haters. No, we're not. And I'm ready to I'm ready to learn more. So I think I get excited. <sighs> yeah, now I, I kind it. of am. I would still go to Bojangles over it, but it might be bottom of B. I would go to a Whataburger over a Wawa right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Yeah. Very fair. So, so you want top of C or bottom of B? Bottom of what B. Do you think? Yeah, I think it's that great. I think that, that is fair. It's good. And even when it's bad, it's like still pretty yummy. You and know? now that we know about the sauces and all that shit, yeah, like that's it's great. that's good. White Castle. How do you feel? Um again, best case scenario. Best, so imagine but here's the thing, got, best case scenario, it tastes the same as worst case scenario. I don't you ever have a soggy steamed one? Like when they're just like soggy soggy, you know. I just, like you it's the frozen one you get at the grocery store <laughs> is the same. <laughs> As what they're serving in the restaurant, Mm. which makes me think it it might just suck, (laughs) but you can get so much food, so much for so little. And they got crinkle cup fries and they have a movie. The whole, the movie is great. The movie will, it was like (laughs) the best propaganda I've ever seen. Ever. But what do you think? I'm not, I would probably try five guys again over trying White Castle. I would certainly order Domino's and Pizza Hut over White Castle. I would put it over Arby's. I think uh, I don't want to put no, White Castle know, over man. Burger King. Over Burger King? No. Maybe maybe uh, under Papa John's. Yeah, over churches. Yeah, I like that. I'm okay. comfortable with that. Okay. Now we have Wiener Schnitzel. I've eaten there once. I've so eaten it's... there twice. So I okay. just I, we're not qualified to judge this. Nate like loves it. He's right? It's his favorite thing. And so I want to go. I'd like yeah. to go with him. Yeah. And and learn. But I'm we're putting it in the never had. Well, no, no, no. Let's sure. let's do this because every t- the times I've been, I have a great time. I think I went there when we played the cobalt once. There was one around the corner. I think there definitely was. It's not anymore. Um, let's okay. say under churches. Because I'm definitely going there over Denny's. There you go. You know. Yep, there you go. Is that That's Wings fair. Over? Yeah, Wings Over. Wings Over is dope. It's a it's Never a regional it. like northeast chain. Okay, it's good. I I I don't know that I I'd, I'd probably do hmm. under Carl's. It's, under it's Carl's crazy that I say it's good. It just shows you how much of this shit I I have eaten and would eat again. <laughs> you know. Now, Colin. I don't even dislike it, but I, I'm putting it there. We have your biological family. We really do, man. <laughs> Wingstop is unequivocally. I had it last night. 
dude, when when you get the idea to get Wingstop or when you see one, it's just like, oh, let's dude, do Wingstop. It's or like, Wingstop is, it is like, is it Wednesday? Like, <laughs> you know? Wingstop is like hate breed to me. Wow. Where I, I can't figure out what to listen to. So I just put on Perseverance, you know? I can't figure out what to eat, so I just get a 10-wing combo from Wingstop. And it comes on and go, I'm so glad I did that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I love Wingstop. Dude. I know what you're going to say, but that's going to be a battle. <laughs> we'll, we'll battle it out. Put it over Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Think about it. We'll, we'll get there. Think about it. You give a shit, you get a shit about Zaxby's? Uh, I think it's okay. But it's it's uh top of F probably. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I'm definitely uh, going to it over uh, Sonic. Over I'm Sonic. not I'm for sure going to Sabaro over Zaxby's. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that's fair. This is look so here it is, guys. Here it is. Now we got Before gotta, we alter it. Before we alter it. Yeah. So it just in the best for those of you listening. Yeah. I'm just gonna list the best. Okay. Is Right now we have in order McDonald's, In and Out, Wingstop, Chick Fil A, Panda, Portillo's, Canes, Taco Bell. That is the best of the best, there, man. That's eight. So we got to get rid of three. Yeah, that's eight. We got to move three. Okay. Well, let's look through B real quick and make sure we're comfortable with this. Shake Shack, Cookout, Noodles and Co, Popeyes, Culver's, Jimmy John's, Jersey Mike's, Del Taco, Waffle Mm. House, Wendy's, Mm. Boston Market, Chipotle, Bojangles, and Whataburger. For the record, I personally would put Chipotle higher than what it is, but I'm I'm conceding for the sake of what we're talking about. You would put it higher. What would you where would you put it above? I would put it per but again, this is because I don't I didn't grow up how you did. I would put it over Jimmy John's. (laughs) They're next door, you're going to Chipotle. Yeah. Like today. Right now. I love Chipotle. I oh, always have. Fuck. It's always been there. That's it's dark. always the same. I'm good. Dark, dark, but dark. I'm, I'm just saying, for the record, don't come for me. So we have to take three things out, out of the best. M- McDonald's ain't going nowhere. And McDonald's is not moving. Neither is in and out And neither is in and out So we know that. Yeah. So we got our two. So we need to think about Wingstop, Chick-fil-A, Panda Portillo's, Cane's, So t- to Look, me, first off, chicken. right off the bat. Yeah. Chick-fil-A can come out. Beautiful. Under Shake Shack. And then. (laughs) If that makes sense. Yeah, it does. In terms of just where I would go right now. Yeah. I would get Shake Shack for dinner over. And then let let me ask you this. You're feeling a little chicken. Wingstop or Canes? Wingstop. Canes, fuck out out of there. (laughs) Top of B, though. Top of B. Top of B. Okay. Over Shake Shack? Over a burger? Yeah. It's different. All right, you know? now we got to get rid of one. This is tough, man. I personally, so we got McDonald's in and out that's staying. Wingstop is staying. I agree with that. Yeah. So we have Panda, Portillo's, or Taco Bell. Personally, Colin, even though I think I'm going to eat it in a little bit, I think Panda's got to move down. Just to. And, and this is my bias. Portillo's is I, so I, regional. I, it's so regional, and I do love it. So I can I can concede if we're gonna go. That's just a bias. That's fine, dude. Panda is it. is family to me, you know. That's church, dude. But but you're in a parking lot. There's the two. Mm. They're both there. Panda or Portillos? I'm going to Portillos for sure. That's but it's, what I'm but thinking. it's it's rare for me. I you I know? know. I don't get to eat it often. But you I go have to Portillos. Both. I go to Portillo's more often than I go to Panda. But when I I will say the inverse of what I just asked you is when I see a Panda when I'm like in an airport, the mm. Newark airport oh. has a beautiful Panda Express. And I get so fucking pumped. So I personally think top of B for Panda. Mm-hmm. And then we have McDonald's, In-N-Out, Wingstop, Portillo's, Taco Bell. As That's our a crazy five. top five. That's a great – and I'll even – I'll move – Portillo's to the bottom yeah, of bottom, the top but five. Portillo's would have to be bottom of the best because Taco Bell. So we Panda yeah. first, Taco Bell here. Taco Bell maybe over Wingstop. In terms of accessibility and ease, you can't – like door dashing Wingstop is like a 90-minute affair, you know? And very expensive. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's $85. <laughs> it's, it's For so two with people, it's $238. Taco Bell, still affordable. Still affordable. Not so I think. In order, 
our big five, starting from number five, we got Portillo's, which like, let me just tell you, means the world to me <laughs> that you're okay with that. I, I think it's unbelievable. <laughs> then Wingstop, then Taco Bell, then In-N-Out, and then the the goat yeah. the is Don, The Don is, is, is the Don one. of all fast food. Look at this. Yeah, I know. This is gorgeous, Sana, frankly. <laughs> I'm really happy with the top five. Me too. And I would put Chick-fil-A over Cane's personally in our B. You'd put Chick-fil-A over Cane's. Yeah, because I'm just not that impressed by, by Cane's. I, I, just, I, I know. I, it's, it's, I know. It's still special to me. I live kind of close to it. Yeah. But like if they're next door, I'm going to Cane's. And then I'm maybe, I did really I'm maybe enjoy pop, eating it maybe at LDB. Popping over to Chick Fil A for a shake with my kids. <laughs> Oof! Ooh, the Chick Fil A shake. Kind of, do they have any dessert at Kane's? No. no. Interesting. Which which makes me think. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But to, like right now in my life, yeah, I'm going yeah. to Kane's over Chick Fil A 100. percent There you go. There you go. Shake Shack is. Dude, Shake Shack fucking rips. It goes hard. It rips. That, that relish, the the top four of B to me is like honorary. A, it depends on mood, you know? Yeah. 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 Those could all be number one. Panda is locked at number one for the, for sure. Though. <laughs> locked. Yeah. Dude. If any of those top five go bankrupt, it's Panda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like it doesn't matter. I kind of, I know we don't need to get too nitty gritty, but I think Whataburger might be a little high. I think it might be a little low. I'd go there over Chipotle all day. Yeah, I, I know you would. That's true. <laughs> That's true. You know what? Right now, maybe yeah. I would too. Yeah. yeah. But know. let's leave it where it is. Put it up, dude. Put it, put it right all below right. Boston Market. Dude, Boston Market's so fun. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with this. Uh, fuck Panera. Fuck Subway forever. <laughs> Apparently, fuck Blimpy. But. Yeah, they got some rogue shots. <laughs> Blimpy got a couple of strays. <laughs> hey, guys, I brought you some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was but so fun. This was the best. Yeah, this is this is good. I, I'm very happy with this. We hope that you're not too offended if you're listening or watching. If you're keeping track, if you're listening and you're keeping track in your mind, great job for one. <laughs> yeah, I'm very impressed. Also, if you disagree with this, Keep it to yourself. Okay. No, because we've, but also show but, us yours. But by the time this comes out, we've talked, we had this conversation a week ago. I know, but I'm curious <laughs> if this is controversial. All I want to know is your top five. Yeah. Send us your top five. Send me your, send us your top five in order and we'll, we'll compare. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I like that. I like that. All right. Thank you all for watching. This wow. has been hard lore, the official hard lore tier list, fast food. Thank you so much. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye.